as far as any further actions or strategies for Occupy Wall Street movement and autonomous entity entities aligned with the movement that we be brought in on strategy and calling of these events and not just be told being told what to do and where to go okay so david as you started off your uh your proposal is encompasses the 17th as well starting there that occupy harlem occupy harlem uh proposes for adoption a statement to Occupy Wall Street and uh, the uh, all of the entities it is working with, including labor unions and non-for-profit organizations, to be, we demand the inclusion of community-based groups in those discussions for the 17th and moving forward with all other activities that calls for the participation, the support and endorsement of communities, particularly communities of color. Why don't we just say communities of color, black and Latino communities. So is, is that? Yes, that's fine. Okay. That's always... Does anyone want to add or is there a need for further clarity on this position, on this proposal that we're voting on? Uh, I, I yes. Well, the whole notion with this was, and I, no, I know, but it's going to clarify. Right. The whole notion was to start with Occupy Your Block, and again, it had a very vertical approach as well. So that was very important, and that's something that I had discussed in outreach so to make. Not no, it was very vertical because it was coming from Occupy Wall Street to everybody else. Sure. So it wasn't it wasn't really being yeah. discussed the way it should have been done. But I, I could understand it. But that's why I say moving forward after the 17th, because we only have eight days. But you could make the positions felt on the 17th, but you don't have too many days left. So that's the reality of that. But that needs to that needs to change. Uh, because even Occupy Your Block, uh, that was the point was to at least discuss with people and see how they felt because a lot of people are already organizing. Right. So what is their approach about that? Mm -hmm. So even if you have a proposal, it should be something that you're getting your point across, but on the other hand, you're getting the, the gist of where people are so that it can be very much more comprehensive. And I think sometimes that has been very lacking. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a process and it's only been here for two months and we just have to just, mm -hmm. just correct it. Just quickly. Just we have no illusions that this intervention will impact on the 17th. But what's important, the political intent behind our declaration about the 17th and going forward is that we are demanding inclusion as a political statement of Occupy Harlem using the 17th as a point of reference of our exclusion. I think that's the point. That is the political point behind yes. what David is talking about. Uh, is, is everyone agree? Any the platform. That's oh, right. okay, okay. So, so as Erlene said, it becomes not only part of our platform, but it becomes a statement in identifying who we are and what are our positions and our autonomy independent of Occupy Wall Street and, what are, and whatever entities they are in collaboration with for any event that they cannot ignore us. So it's a declaration. Is, is that captures what, what you're saying? Yes, so yes. if we could call the question, it's, is there anyone else uh, who wants to, anyone else? Okay, so if we can call the question on this, I hope we have some unanimity. Um, I don't need to repeat this, do I? No, no, no. Oh, no. So, no. 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 Okay, so all those, uh, all those in favor? All those abstaining and opposition? One. Rebecca. Abstaining. You're abstaining? Yes. Okay. Oh, because um, I don't know exactly when the 17th idea was planned, but I know that Occupy Harlem's first general assembly meeting was relatively recently, mm -hmm. and I feel like the Occupy Wall Street movement was not trying to be 
um, exclusive of Occupy Harlem. I just believe that they might have planned it before they knew to ask for a contingent from other satellite occupations or okay. individual occupations. Yeah, yeah I, I, appreciate, I appreciate that, but let me just state what we're trying to do, not so much or even being critical of, uh, of Occupy Wall Street for the 17th, but as a, as a statement of inclusion and concern from Occupy Harlem. A declaration, if you will. And if the dec declaration leads to a sit down or come to a meeting, but it is not a criticism of Occupy Wall Street in the sense, uh, as you said, we, we've only been around for less than two weeks, and why didn't you include us? And then uh, the obvious question is, well, where were you two weeks? Where were you at the time? But the point is, if we are coming out, we are attempting to uh, declare our position on those issues uh, related not only to the 17th, even though we were absent, but but more moving forward, moving forward. and that there is um, there is a, a declaration of, of intent from these groups, including uh, from Occupy Harlem, that we have to be included using the 17th as an example of perhaps better outreach that was not made. Yeah.